Good morning and welcome to the Tommy Watson Show, brought to you by Express Oil Change and Tire Engineers. We are coming to you live from the Sports Lab at Lambert High School. I'm your host, Doug Dersmer, with Coach Tommy Watson. Coach, what a great win. What a way to start the season. Yeah, it was. You know, a lot of excitement, a lot of build-up to the game, and Man, Longhorn Nation showed up. Student section was unbelievable. Just a great night. You know, you can't win them all if you don't win the first one. That's for sure. I, I told you after the game, been around here for a long time. I don't know if I've ever heard the crowd, the student section, the cheerleaders, the band. It was just phenomenal. The vibe was great. The energy was through the roof. Uh, I've heard from a lot of people on social media and talked to people before I left last night. It was really an electric environment. Yeah, you know, I, I, I've had several of those guys – in the weight training class that this in the you know the student section and you know I interact with them and I, I told the student section last night at the end of the game in our team meeting that 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 was the goal of vision I had when I got here was to make it one Lambert where everybody's a part the students a part the admin the band everybody involved man that's about being one Lambert and last night I think that was on full display well the student section certainly brought it no question we we hope you bring it every week guys. Uh, Pool party, that was a theme. I know that uh, Coach Frere and Coach Church and I think Coach uh, uh, Aubrey had some uh, hamburgers and hot dogs for the, for the kids before the game started and probably got them riled up. And after the game, we were leaving. There was a lot of paraphernalia left, a lot of tubes, a lot of blow-up balloons, uh, beach balls. It was a great scene. It was, you know, and then get to, to, to have youth night involved in that atmosphere and let those future Longhorns see what we're about and what we're trying to build. Great night, great night coach it was it was a phenomenal atmosphere and when we come back we're going to show you the highlights of the friday night game versus centennial you are watching the tommy watson show sponsored by express oil change and tire engineers Welcome back to the Tommy Watson Show. We're going to head to the highlights of the opening kickoff, and Coach, they got the ball first. Yeah, they got the ball, and then we went out and Ryan did Gansky. What a weapon. I was going to say, I was going to talk about, let's give some love to Ryan. Uh, five kickoffs last night, all touchbacks, correct? All touchbacks. It's a, it's a weapon in high school Absolutely. football when you have to go first and 80. Yep. You know, kick it in the end zone. So, you know, great job out of that young man for sure. And they uh, coached, uh, they didn't have much success on and then the first series. They, we, I think we had three and out. Is that correct? Yeah, you look here, the first play, you know, we kind of had a bust up top. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, they, you know, you look down there on the screen, Coach Ange, we never played defense in his life. And here they are trying to throw the ball at him. So, I mean, you know, a lot of positives went into the first series. One of our goals on defense is to have four and three, four three and outs on the night. And last night we had three. Three and out, so we was one short left. But man, phenomenal defense all night long. Yeah, so here we're looking over. We went three and out, made them punt, and then we got the ball. And here we run a little jet motion action with you know just trying to be high candy with Kojo. You know, a lot of people key in on Kojo, so we're just trying to I mean, look at this play here. He throw a, it's a simple little five yard throw for the quarterback, and man. Uh, he, he does the rest. Sixty you know? sixty three yards, and uh, coach when he hit that sideline, that burst of speed right there. Man. Yes, definitely. But then he had two great blocks out wide by Brandon Jones and Dan Guy. But, yeah, man, he's a difference maker. No ifs, ands, buts about it. I'm glad he's with us. Ohio State is getting a good one for they sure. They sure are. Absolutely. No question. Well, we kick off again, and uh, Centennial takes it for their second series, which wasn't much better than their first, which is great for us. Was not. Again, they got to go first and 80. That's hard yeah. on a high school offense for sure. Here they come out a little – a little different formation. We call it an empty where they don't have any running backs, just quarterback in the backfield. Uh, Coach Hurd dials up a blitz up the middle and 
gets home. You know, that don't look like mm-hmm. that don't look like too much. But man, them quarterbacks don't like getting hit. So just look at that hitting. swarm though. Yeah. That that swarm. And your your linebackers played great last night. They they were really lights out. They did. They did. And it was a great group, man. Just a team that plays the hardest and hits the hardest is gonna win. And those guys are doing a phenomenal job of what we're asking them to do now. Great job, great coverage down the field. We got the quarterback scrambling out of the pocket a little bit. Everybody staying home. Good defense. Defense wins championships. They covered up. There, there was nothing there. Back on the offense side, the ball. Kind of break down in protection here a little bit. The quarterback does a phenomenal job keeping the play around uh, alive and getting the ball to, once again, number 11. Coach Centennial. number two. Go ahead, sorry. Coach number two back there, he's um, – James is he's mighty slick, isn't he? He is, man. <laughs> you know, the kid's got a lot of moxie. No doubt. You know, and the whole team believes that, that when he you know when, that something good is gonna happen and I'm glad he's on our team. Coach, this that. is a great, great play here. I believe it we had a little penalty, a holding penalty. It was like I think first and twenty seven and Harry rips off about twenty. Yeah, great great job up front blocking, great run out of Harry. I mean, it's just just football. Like I tell the kids all the time, it's a simple game. Block and tackle. Take care of the football. Let's go. So, great job out of Harrison. Great job out of the offensive line. Everybody involved. Great job on the bootleg. Here we, you know, this is this is James's mo, man. James, in my opinion, James Tyre is a heck of a quarterback, but he don't. He's not at his best when we ask him to sit in the pocket. He's his best when you let him kind of not freelance, but right. you let him kind of get outside the box and play, man. He's a Again, I'm glad he's for us. But great Johnny kid. Manziel. That's it. That's who he reminds me of. <laughs> Absolutely. Great job throwing the comeback to B.J. Brandon Jones. Man, good football play. Here we just down running. You know, that Harrison Payton's 205 pounds, man. They're going to have to show me they can tackle him. Just lowering his shoulder pads, getting, getting, getting a long horn three yards. I ask our running backs to get three yards with no blocking. And if we can do that, when we do block them, they're going to get some yards. But great physical run out of Harrison. He's mighty tough. He is, man. He was a, you know, he's such a weapon. He just barreling in, getting in the end zone there. Great job. Coach, oh. don't, he wasn't even touched until he was at, at, across the goal line. Yes, sir. So, if you look, we had a minute and 18, 18 into the first quarter. It's 13-0. Come out. Couldn't have had a better start to the no, game. Two, could. three and outs, two scores. So, you know, started Coach, fast. We talked at halftime, and you, you couldn't have – you couldn't have scripted it any better. Literally, if you'd have wrote it, if you're if you're your own screenwriter, you, you couldn't have written it any better. That's right. You're exactly right. This was one of the little tweaks that you know we didn't quite fit this play exactly right, and they had a good run. But man, what great effort out of our backside corner to run the guy down. It Bradley was Bradley Gabriel. This was their, uh, I believe, this is their biggest play of the night. Was it was. Coach? It yeah. was. You know, we spoke about defense already, but at, at halftime, our defense had only played twenty two plays. Is that right? And then when you look at the end of the game stats, our defense gave up uh, 66 yards rushing and something like 70 yards passing. What a night for the defense. But they're playing hard, man. We missed a tackle right there, but the next guy's going to get him on the ground. Well, that look about, was that Gabriel? That was Bradley. Bradley. Bradley might be the meanest kid on the football yeah. team. <laughs> Just great defense here. Swarming to the ball. Team that hits the hardest. It's going to win the game. On to the second quarter. Yeah, you know, the first quarter started just like we wanted to. You know, got a 14-0 lead, so we're heading to the second quarter. And here they are. You see you see, we're on defense in the second quarter, and, and, and you watch Centennial, man. They're motion, and they're shifting, and they're doing all kind of little things just to just check check our eyes, make sure our kids are, you know, are coached up, sound, and, man, we handle it well. And what a tackle by Kojo Andrew. Spoke of him earlier. But he's been a you know he's a wild out. He's this. He's this. No, I teach our kids that you're a football player. Correct. Getting a little motion and we we pass it off pretty good in the second day. Oh man, right through his hands. Great job out of Jake Johnson. Uh, Jake played in. great last night. He did. He did. Good player, man. Good senior. Uh, been here for my two years. Of course, I think he played football the first two years. But great play. Getting on the punt. Three and out again, I think. So, you've got a punt return team out there. And this is a, a, a little scenario or a little of just doing what you coach to do. You know, we coach our punt returner. You stand on the 10-yard line, and you do not back up. If you had to back up, let the ball go. But we also co- coach him to to make a fair catch so the kind of the punt team will kind of relax and hopefully the ball go in the end zone. 
And Davis Dobbs did exactly what he's coached to do right there. And Longhorns get the ball first and 20. Good job out of Davis. Well, Coach, I don't want you to comment on this play because I don't want you to get fined by the GHSA. But uh, Kojo has a great run here. It's called back with a holding call and uh, just, again, shows the speed and electricity of, of Kojo. Yeah, again, uh, Kojo is a weapon. We're trying to use him multiple different ways. And it's giving the ball, man. Simple game and great job blocking. I, you know, I can't comment on the call, but. We ought to have had a ball first and first and uh, first and ten at the thirty yard line yeah, for exactly sure. Right. So anyway, everybody, nobody's perfect. Actually, so, that was a really almost a pancake block. It was, in my opinion, I played offensive line a long time. That was a pancake block. So here we backed up again behind the sticks, and we just called a little double screen. We got a we got a tunnel screen out here to our right to BJ, and then we got a swing screen to our running back Harris, and the defensive end. Quarterback has to make the read. He made the right read right there. He gave the ball to Harrison, and Harrison's a lot like Kojo. Mm. Just give him the ball. And good things are going to happen most of the time. Here we are back on defense, and, again, we take pride on, on making a team one-dimensional. We we do not want the football run on us. We want you to have to throw the ball. And great job by the guys just playing technique, getting off blocks, getting to the football, and great job. Oh, what a play here. I remember this mm. one that happened, man. It's uh, – wow. You know, we have a goal of, of one of our defense goals is to have uh, two or more takeaways in a game, and another goal is to score on defense. So we had two takeaways last night, and obviously we got the touchdown here. Uh, that's Henry Reese. Absolutely. He's a senior that his, him and his family moved in here from Kentucky in June. And he's done nothing but everything we've asked him to do. He has a younger brother that's a freshman that's going to be with us for four years. So, man, great play. You know, this this play right here sticks out to me. When I watched this play last night about mm. 1 o'clock in the morning, when you really look at this play, this is how you know I got 100% buy-in. Mm -hmm. Not I, we. If you look at our quarterback, James Tyler, in this play, he is running read option. He is reading the end man on the line of scrimmage here. If that man goes down inside, James hands the ball to Harry. If that man runs up the field, Harry, James pulls the ball, he runs. But I want you to look at that sucker. Mm. When he hands it off, he says, the heck with this, I'm going to try to block for my for my teammate. Great. That gives me cold chills sitting right here mm -hmm. that my starting quarterback is trying to go block for my starting running back. Man, and, I and, love that. And, and what a, what a hard-nosed run there by, by Harrison. I remember this play on the sideline because I was on the sideline with Aubrey Morey and Scott Dean, two former – football coaches, head coaches, and assistant principals, and they were all fired up when he stuck his head in there and and uh, and really just was hard-nosed play. Great job here. Oh, yeah, that was a super play. A little bootleg we've been working on, man. As, as well as we can run the football, we feel like this play is still in and the big tight end that transferred to yep. us, Luke Logan. I mean, it's fourth and 14. I went for it because it's real late in the half. Right. And, you know, Ryan's going to punt it in the woods if I let him punt it from there, so. Coach, I'm not sure how that's not a first down again, but uh, you look at the film there. The stick was at the 23, and we certainly went a little past that. But what a target this guy is! What, He's Luke a weapon. Is, Luke is something. Six five, is that right? Six five, six five. Great kid, great family. We're glad he's here for sure. And baseball player as well, is that right? Baseball guy. Mm -hmm. He's just gonna get better and better for the Longhorns, man. But I, I'm with you. I think we got jipped out of a first down there. But my opinion don't matter. So yeah. play the next play. That's right. And we did. We did back on defense. They uh they hit us with a little screen here. Great scheme on their part. We kind of don't fit it just perfect, but we got black jerseys, black hats running to the football. We find a way to get him on the ground. Playing hard, man. Super impressed with how hard these kids play. Tommy Morris. T Money is what I call him, man. You money. can count on him. He's uh he's fixing to make a big play. Yeah, I think this may be is it. it right here? here it is. He yeah. seems to find a way. And I'll tell you what. When he gets that turnover chain around his neck, everybody in the stadium knows he's got it. Which that's what he, he we does. Want. I love the coach. I saw that last night. I didn't know we were going to have that this year. But that big Longhorn turnover chain that that was great. I, I, I want our kids loose. He I loved want it. them playing on the edge, but they know when I say enough's enough. They they get right. Yeah. I love the energy, love the enthusiasm. T Money is a two way sport guy. Plays basketball as well. So it's, he's the you know he's the director of our secondary. He's the coach on the field, if you will. But, Great play out of him. And make no mistake about it, he was trying to go score now. For sure. Couldn't have wrote a better script. You showed me that other you told me that yeah. last night on the little interview at halftime. 
Phenomenal start. Again, couldn't have scripted any better. Great confidence build in the first half, first game. So we're going to come right back from the Tommy Watson Show for the second half highlights. Welcome back to Sports Lab with the Coach Tommy Watson Show. And, Coach, second half highlights here. 21 nothing lead at half. And they come out in the second half, and they're not giving up. No, they didn't. You know, I got a lot of respect for, for Coach O'Sullivan and what he's trying to build over there. I think he took a very similar situation that, that I had here when I first got here. And I just think we're a little further along because we've got a couple of little better players. But, man, they come out and they on side kicked us. And, you know, we had a kid right there to make the play. The ball actually went in his hand and just, you know, just bobbed it around and squirted it out from him, and they got it. And, oh, Lord, here we go kind of type deal, man. But Oh, I wow. Yeah, I mean, he had the ball, hit him right in the chest, and we'll get that fixed. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was not either, and our kids weren't either. But the kids yeah. played it perfect. Yeah, they did. They didn't leave early. They did everything the coach do. Just got to make the play. That was know? a gutsy call down 21-0. I'll give it him was. credit. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know. Put our deep like I, like we tell our kids. One of our keys to winning the game is is obviously I done said it is no turnovers. But if we do turn the ball over via offense or special teams, it is just another chance to go play defense. And we love defense, and so we put our defense out on the field. And they come out and they added a couple little wrinkles to us to third quarter that we hadn't really seen them do. Like here, you see a quarterback run off a jet motion, great play. Our eyes might not have been in the right spot there, but we get him on the ground. I, you know, that's one of my concerns is, is is in two of the three, the two preseason games and in the first game, the third quarter has not been a good quarter for the long goal. Mm-hmm. So I got to do a really good job as a head coach and the coaches, the assistant coaches, of putting our finger on a way to get us to come out and start fast like it's the first quarter. Mm-hmm. You know, not relaxing because we're up 21-3. to three. So that's on me. That's on the coaches to get it fixed. But, you know, the great thing about this drive is – we got them down there. They had it first and goal twice because we roughed the kicker on fourth down, and we stopped them both times. It was a great coach. They they kicked the field goal. It was it was good. Um, penalty. They took the three off the board. They said, we're going to try to go for seven, and we held them again and stuffed them. So we had really uh, four plays down in there that were um, really phenomenal. Absolutely. It's just, so kids went out there. They believe. They fight. And they keep working. And great play here. Uh, the outside linebacker here we got – on the line is Levi Watson. He's supposed to be coming on a blitz, but he's also in man coverage on that running back if he swings. And mm. they were trying to run a pick route on us and pick him with the outside receiver and get a wheel out the back. And, man, what a great play out of Levi being in perfect position and, and getting the play stopped and forcing That's him to a, try another field goal. There was nothing there. Nothing. Great defense. Uh, here's a play we just talked about. You know, yeah, okay. Rough to kick her a little bit. And they get a, you know, they get it again first and goal. Man, defense don't flinch. And But I tell you, you know, you look at, again, just the effort. Look at how hard the guys play. Look at Bradley Gabriel. He's the he's the man coming off the edge up top. And we are winning 21 to nothing in the you know early stages, middle stages of the third quarter. And he's coming to block that field goal he as just hard as he can. Too. And that's, that's just great effort. That's just want to win, you know. We got to just keep working. Game one. Back on defense. A little trickery they got going on, man. I mean, just look at the look at the physicality here. You know, they get three, two or three yards or no yards, but man, look at the way the kid gets hit, like right there. I mean, man, that's running to the football. That's playing physical. Who, who was that? There? That's Dawson. Miller. I thought that was Dawson. Yeah, Dawson had a phenomenal night again. A good defense. You know, we had many a time. There's old Dawson again coming through there. Great, great, great play on defense, man. They got the ball back down in the red zone and. Mm. The old defense just kept fighting, kept fighting. Give Centennial credit now. 
They went in the locker room 21 nothing at halftime, and they come out in the third quarter. They put on a dang fight. Now. They, they do anything different coaching the second half than the first? or just? Uh, no, you know, again, it was kind of – it was kind of self-inflicted wounds. Mm-hmm. You know, they did do a couple of different little quarterback runs that we, we hadn't really seen from them that we didn't prepare for, but that was more on us. But it was just self-inflicted penalties, special teams there. It's just you got to come out and start fast. So there they missed the field goal, but, man, they, you know, great defense. Longhorns get the ball back. Welcome back to the Tommy Watson Show. And, Coach, we're going to head to the fourth quarter for some highlights. Yeah, you know, we played a little bit better than the fourth. Third quarter was not good to us. We, you know, penalties, turnover, uh, special teams, blumps. But we'll work through that. We'll get it fixed. We'll find a way to start the second half better. That's my job to put us in those situations, and I'll work to fix that. But I don't know if you've seen last night. Man, we, we started something new at Lambert yeah, last did. night, you know. And at the end of the third quarter, from this day forward, as long as I'm the head coach, we're going to have a party between the third and fourth quarters where we're going to get the, the band involved, the students and section involved, the fans involved, the football team, and, and just tell them, hey, man, it's fourth quarter. Coach, Let's the, go. The, the pool party went from the stands to the field. It was great. Yeah, man, it was great. So, you know, I kind of like that. The boys like it, you know, so it was good, man. But fourth quarter, come out and played well. You see here we got Coach O just getting him the ball out of space, and he's doing what he does with the football in his hands. And we come out, run a little screen right here, had a good play, but – had a penalty on this play as well. What a punt by Ryan Naganski right here. I came I, I ain't counting up the yards, but holy smokes. Those are hard to catch. That's a weapon. That's why he didn't catch it. <laughs> and a great hustle out of Davis Dobbs getting down the field. And if you if you really don't know what you're looking at, Davis just knocks the returner that's trying to get the ball. He just says the heck with the ball. I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock him play. out of the way. Fantastic play. And that's what that's what we're about, man. Coach, did Tommy get that, that that fumble recovery too? Uh I ain't sure who got it yet. It looks like T. I think Money. it was I think it was T. Money for his uh, second uh, turnover of the game. That's T. Money running yeah. down the field. Right. He just has a knack for well, great effort on those kids, man. And finally got a break, kept plugging, kept fighting, got something to go away. James hits old big Luke Logan again on play action, bootleg pass, and we rolling again. That was a great play. I, that was one of my favorite plays of the night. And then here he goes. Yeah, yeah, that's James. You know, we just run an RPO game where, you know, he's got a chance to hand it to Harrison running around the end or he can keep it run up the middle. And Coach, you know, that was a great read there. I mean, he, read. he didn't get touched. Great read, great blocking. Everybody involved, man. Great job out of everybody. I see the wide out, Kojo out there blocking for Harrison. Good job, man. All in, guys. Notice, Coach, our wide receivers are really doing a lot of uh, good downfield blocking right now, too. They do. They know if they want to play, they got to block. If they want us throwing the ball, they got to block. So, that's where we're at. So, that'll kind of wrap us up for the fourth quarter. And uh, that's that's kind of the deal, you know what I mean? So, just super excited, man, that, we, that the Longhorns come out with a win. Well, thanks for joining us on the Tommy Watson Show. And, Coach, thanks for being here. Thanks so much for y'all doing this. It was a pleasure being here. And just remember, wake up, go to sleep. Absolutely, Coach. That's no doubt about it. That's another slang, right? So next week, the Longhorns on the road in Cobb County at Lassiter High School. We face the Trojans. Uh, heck, it'll be a heck of a game. It's a heck of an environment. It's a great football stadium. We've had some serious battles in lacrosse over there over the years. So we're heading, uh, heading over there to take on the Trojans. And, folks, again, thanks for joining us. You can catch us on Twitter at the Tommy Watson Show or at, at the WAO Show. And you can catch us there every Sunday morning. We look forward to hearing you. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week.